Okay, welcome back everybody. So in this episode, this is just one more little like side episode that I'm gonna be doing, and then it's onward to the glowing sea. Or oh, I might just do one or two homestead missions in between an episode. Uh and then on the way to the glowing sea. May as well unlock a few fast travel locations. Now though, however, I am going to that custom destination point, because somewhere in this vicinity is Vault 81. It's usually the first place I go to when I start the game, like when I'm exploring uh, this area and going towards Diamond City, but for some reason this completely slipped my mind. And I was like, after I, yeah, around the time, I, like a few episodes back, I can't remember which episode exactly, I was wondering, like, you know, I'm sure there's like a few vaults spread throughout this area. And I couldn't remember where exactly. Until now. Thanks to the wonders of the internet. And Google. That's right. <laughs> I I googled the location. Don't judge me. It's been ages it's been ages since I uh, since I played this. And it could have taken me hours to find this thing on my own. Hey! I said it was somewhere. Didn't think it would be this easy to find. But, oh well, yeah, sure. This kind of just goes to prove, though, isn't it? You're just lucky. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? Like, you're just, like, you know, the protagonists for these games are just lucky to leave the vault when the vault is fine. Like, when the weather's fine. You haven't played a Fallout game where you've left the vault and... You know, the weather's been like this. You're just like, ah, oh, well, you know, this is a nuclear hellhole. I'm going back into the vault. Alright, where is the entrance to this vault? Oh, there it is. as I like to call them. It's usually sealed up, although you do find the occasional patrol. Yeah, but I got a pit boy, so fuck him. Or what? You'll open the vault door like I want? Yeah. You yeah, really got the upper hand in this negotiation, haven't you? Vault 81? You're still up and running? Yeah. Pretty good observation there, genius. Now about that pit boy Why are you asking about my pit boy We get plenty of scavengers and traders passing by the entrance. Everybody wants to get at the shiny red button. But you're the first one to try it with a working pit boy Where'd you get it? I got it in Vault 111. Vault 111? Haven't heard of that one yet. And what sort of business are you looking to take care of here in 81? What's with the third degree? It's called protocol. Think we just let anyone in here? Think again. Who is it, Edwards? Ma'am, some new common book traveler. Not one of our usual traders. Well, if someone wants in, they can earn it like everyone else. Let me speak to them. Sorry about that. Officer Edwards here was just doing his job. I'm sure you can understand our need for caution. For newcomers, we like to operate on exchange. You help us, we help you. But I'm a fellow vault dweller. Can't you just let me in? Excuse me, ma'am. Before you arrived, he did say he was from Vault 111. He's in possession of a working pit boy. Is that so? I'm going to 
going to allow it. Hey. Edwards, open the door and make the announcement. Officer Edwards and I will meet you at the entrance. That's right. No menial task for me, bitches. Though I am still stuck here looking at... Okay, cool. Alright. The charisma perk does pay off. Yet again. Come on, Win. My guys have been working doubles for weeks now. They need a break. Everyone's working hard right now, Cal. You think I don't know that? Just do the best with what you can. That's all I'm asking. Fine. I'll see what I can do. But you and I both know we can't keep going on like this. Sorry about that. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Gwen McNamara, Overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. We've never encountered a fellow Vault Dweller. Is this Vault 111 you mentioned still operational? Have you ever seen any other Vault Dwellers? You're the first. In all our time here, not a single traveler from another Vault. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful Vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient. But there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. Why do you keep yourself so isolated? Why not? We have warm beds, clean clothes, a solid roof over our heads. Our food and water are radiation free. We don't deal with the elements or raiders. We're safe here. And for some, that safety and stability is what counts. Aren't you curious about the Commonwealth and what it has to offer? Of course. But my duty is to these people and keeping them safe. We receive a few select traders often enough to stay well informed. Now, I have work to do. Ma'am, what about his friend here? I'll allow it. Security is already extra mindful as it is. If he's lived this long in the Commonwealth, I'm sure he's chosen his friends wisely. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. All right, so I talked. I got two words of what I expect out of you. Excuse me, Overseer. If you haven't already, you should stop by the classroom. Katie would love to have you speak to her students. Yes, tell her about how I fought the Deathclaw and escaped. Escaped Vault Tech. No signs of radiation. Impressive. I recognize that voice actor, but I can't think of where. Overseer. Take time to look around. I can't believe someone has a full run of the place. Don't go feeling all special because the Overseer lets you in here. You weren't the first. Sir, Dr. Forsyth and Rachel have plenty of medical supplies. Ashes, where are you going? Ash! Damn it. Karen's not going to like this. You should stop by and see Horatio while you're here. Can't imagine am I going to have to find this cat? I feel like I am. Oh, and there he goes right out into the wasteland. Right, well, that cat's dead. That, that, that cat's going to be some raider's stew by the end of the day. Stay safe, sir. Yeah. Why do you want to know? I never met anybody from the Commonwealth before. I thought maybe you might want someone to show you around. Just five caps. <laughs> sure, but I'm not paying you. Okay, okay. Boy, you're a real cheapskate. We'll start over here. Why do you need caps for, anyway? I don't think you can, like, I, I imagine you buy stuff in you. No, oh, I take it back. The Combs family run it. Aaron and I have Her mom and dad fight a lot, so I don't like to go in there when they're around. But if you need something, they're the ones that have it. What do they fight about? I shouldn't tell you this, but everyone says Mr. Combs is sleeping with Tina. Mrs. Combs doesn't know, but he's always leaving her to do all the work while he hangs out with Tina. Next stop, the Overseer. I bet you killed a lot of strange things. Ooh, and raiders. I bet you fought raiders too. Alright, this is a weird kid.
Calvin. Alright, uh, keep going, boy. The overseer's office is up there. They're busy up there, and they do not like to be bothered. She makes rules, but she's nice. I like her. Does she take care of people that break the rules? Security mostly takes care of the people who break the rules, but she's in charge of all of the security officers. It doesn't happen very often. Next stop, the diner. Now we gotta go downstairs. That's where the diner is. Everybody eats there. Sometimes it gets real crowded. The summer sets are nice though. You'll like them. No, I take it back. Apparently you do buy shit in the vault. Um, don't know how that works exactly, but they did say they get traded here, so... I suppose that makes sense. Hello, Austin. I see you're showing our guest from the Commonwealth around. Yes, ma'am. This is the Sunshine Diner. Grant says that we'll take all of our hard work and turn it into swill. Mr. and Mrs. Somerset run the diner. They're pretty nice. Mrs. Somerset's pies are the best. How's their food? Other than the pies. I like it. Mrs. Somerset always sneaks me seconds. I'll save you a slice of pie, Austin. Next stop, Horatio. I told you they were nice. Do you like your hair? I like mine. I hate combing it, though. Grand makes me comb it. Uh, what's happening with this kid? Come on. See, it's interactions like this where I get annoyed because the AI just stands there looking at me that I miss in Fallout 76. But next year, you never know. There might be... I say next year. This year. Austin, that hair of yours is a mole rat's nest. <laughs> this is where Horatio fixes up people's hair. Aaron's mom comes here all the time. Grand hardly comes here at all. She makes me cut my hair, though. It's not fair. What do you do, my hair? Sure. You can turn your hair into anything. I wanted him to make mine look like Skull, but Gran wouldn't let us. Next stop, it's Gran. Let's go see Gran. I live with her. She's not my real grandmother. Hell yeah. Ah. Cool. My parents died when I was real little. Facial tattoo. I didn't even know you can get tattoos in this game. Hi, Gran. Austin, what are you doing here? Are you bothering that stranger from the Commonwealth? I'm not bothering him. I'm helping him. Hmm. That's Gran. She takes care of me. You can call her Dr. Pensky. She acts all grumpy. That's not for real. Says you. She runs our hydroponics lab. It's where we get all our food. You don't get anything from the Commonwealth? Nope. Grand grows it all year. She's really smart. Hmm. Next stop, Miss Kate. Come on, hurry up. We gotta go to the other side of the vault. You're leaving. Well, it's my latest my batch tour. of fruit is doing quite well. Wait, what? Oh, so that's just a kick in the balls, isn't it? What do I do now? What I wouldn't give is some real <laughs> Oh, I think he was gonna show me where the where the classroom is as well. Uh she's looking pretty bad in there, Summer said. Pretty good tour, eh? The overseer says I'm good with people. Way better than rain. No, it was not a good tour, you little shit. There was one place I wanted to know where the location of and it was this. There was one place I wanted to know where the there's one place I wanted to know the location of. There you go. Alright. A yardstick. I call that a ruler. Uh, a big ruler, but a ruler nonetheless. Uh, where, where am I going? If you want a good meal, see Maria at the cafeteria. She'll hook you. Everything's under control. Welcome, welcome. I hope I'm not being presumptuous, but I'd like to ask you a favor. Would you mind donating some medical samples? Even just a blood sample? Sure, you can have some blood. Excellent. Just have a seat, and I'll draw some blood.
This is this is random, but sure. I wonder if there's any negative effects to this lightheadedness or something. Hardly heard a bit, eh? Thank you. This will be a great help. Now, I need to get these prepared immediately. Ah. So, Dr. Forsyth here just took my blood and fucked off. Well, maybe I don't want to talk to Forsyth and Rachel. I wonder if I can sit on that. Nope. I'm just looking for somewhere to wait. Aaron Combs. Should do it. Hello, Katie. Oh, you're that new traveler. You must have had so many adventures out in the Commonwealth. Is it boring here in the vault? No, I love teaching these kids. But it's not the same as fighting to survive. Would you mind talking to my class about life in the Commonwealth? What types of stories are you looking for? Nothing too violent. I'm sure they'll have lots of questions though. Thank you so much. Katie. Oh, Would you like to tell the students one of your person. stories now? What topics should I avoid? Nothing with excessive violence. And I'm sure they'll have lots of questions. I'd be glad to. Wonderful. The kids are so excited. Children! Children, listen up! We have a guest today who is going to tell us <coughs> stories about Sorry the about Commonwealth. That. Did you ever find a death claw? Uh... Yeah. One of the Minutemen helped me kill one once. Cool. What happened? A group of raiders had my friend Preston trapped. But you rescued him, right? Preston showed me where to find some power armor I could fix. Power armor! Wow. I wasn't ready when the Death Claw crawled out. Good thing I had that power armor. That sounds scary. Have you ever seen the Death Claw? No. Miss Katie says they're big lizards with huge claws. Don't stop now! Preston and I kept shooting until it was dead. I bet that took lots of bullets. Thank you so much for that story. Children, say thank you. Thank, thank you. you! And we have a thank you gift for you. Here. Oh, hello. Critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks. Permanently do plus five percent damage. Yay! Okay, that was fun. Talk to my mom if you want to. R uh, what'd she say? Talk to my mom if you want, and I didn't hear what came after that. It's been a while since someone from the Commonwealth last visited us. Careful, outsider. Hi, how are you? All right, Horatio. I was hoping you'd stop by. Now I know from experience that Commonwealth shows no mercy when it comes to hair. So, how about a trim? You've been outside of the vault? Quincy, born and raised. My mother, may she rest in peace. She was a doctor. Imagine her surprise when she learned I'd rather cut hair than stitch people up. <laughs> but enough about me. How about that hair of yours? 
Did you say you were from Quincy? Sure did. Looks like I was one of the lucky ones, too. Last I heard, the gunners had taken her over. What's the word around Vault 81? They say Hulk is running around on his wife. <laughs> Apparently, he and Tina DeLuca are secretly getting together. But never getting mind. Getting together. That. Your hair is a disaster. Y you have to let me fix it. That's a bit rude, but okay. That'd be great. All right. Let's see what the Commonwealth has to work with. Just have a seat. Okay, I usually do this when I'm playing the game and change up my style halfway through. Uh, it makes it look like I've been up in the wild for a bit. But then again, I got a beard. Just mess up the hair a bit, I guess. Yeah, you do get more haircuts, uh, haircut like options as well. <coughs> yeah, this one. So, waste casual camp, which is kind of nice. Waster, I'm kind of fond of. Just because it's that, it's casual kempt but messier, which yeah works. Not really sure about the rest of the options. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with waster. Facial hair. Patchy. Outdoorsman. Yeah, okay. I'll go with that one. Done. Ready for a new hairstyle? Alright, I'm gonna go and talk to Guy boy that guy's really like greedy for money, isn't he? I'm gonna go and talk to the overseer and see if anything's happening. And it, uh, she's not here. What? Oh, come on. Really? Uh, I'll sit here and wait. Okay, she's gotta cut me eventually, yeah? I would have thought. Hey, there she is. I'm sure there's a quest line in here. Yep. Hello, Overseer. Some of our residents aren't as thrilled about outsiders as most. So please, don't think they speak for all of us. Feel free to make the most of the services we offer while you're here. I'm sure there's a quest line here. Uh, that's gonna bug me now. idea who that is. This vault seems kind of small for... well, for a vault. There's the, where's the reactor and whatnot. Then again, this is the, re the residential area, so... guess I'm looking in the wrong area. Ah, there's the reactor. All right, never mind. Anywhere else to go? I hope you don't have anything that needs fixing. I really don't feel like work. Yeah, I gathered that from everybody. Yes. Our Commonwealth guest, welcome to the depot. And pardon the clutter, I don't get much time to tidy up these days. No time? Why not? Ugh, where to begin? When you're dealing with items that are all over 200 years old, work just accumulates like crazy. 
Some days it's all I can do to keep my head above water. But you probably don't want to hear about all that. Let me know if you want to take a look. I might be interested in buying or selling. Great. I have all sorts of odds and ends. Oh, wow. Overseer's Guardian. 55 damage. But it's worth 2,000. I actually got enough of that. If I wanted it. Which I might do. Because that is one hell of a gun. Uh, destroyers. 13,000. And then just a pile of junk. Because why not? Ammo, though. That could be uh, come handy. Um. Hmm. Uh, right. I'm going to go back to that gun. I'm going to buy that gun. Can't say it's a bad purchase. Alright, so I am pretty much going to call it quits here because I basically just wanted to find it for uh, Vault 81 in this episode and uh, yeah <coughs> so now that I have it I can fast travel here any moment I know there's a quest line to do with Vault 81 uh, and that's how you unlock a companion which is the main reason I'm here so if I figure it out I'll probably do it in the next episode but if not, I'm going to be carrying on with the main story and heading out into the glowing sea. If you could leave a like, hit the comment section below with anything you like and I'll do my best to get back to you. And maybe hit that subscribe button just because it helps you keep up to date and shows uh, some support for me, which I am eternally grateful for. For now though, that's pretty much it. So until the next episode, you take care of yourself and you have a great day.